EAFC has arrived, boys, and what better way to kick off the game than by rebuilding the European champions. Drum roll, please. West Ham United. I know for a fact you were thinking I was going to City then. No, we are rebuilding the European Conference League champions, West Ham United, and we are going to take them from Conference League glory to Champions League glory glory. So a new feature in EFC is this new tactical vision system, basically choosing how you want your team to play. And with West Ham United, I'm going to go Gengen Press. I don't really know how it works just yet. As we do more and more rebuilds, I'll try and understand it a little bit more. So this is how the default West Ham United team is looking. And do you know what, lads? It actually looks okay considering it's the first season. Just to let you know, boys, because we are in season one, we have disabled the first transfer window, so we cannot make any signings at all in the first window. Now, the glaring weak points of West Ham United's team, in my opinion, are uh, goalkeeper, striker, and left back. So when we do eventually get to January, they are the positions we are going to be looking to strengthen. So the goal for this season, boys, is to finish in a Europa League spot and reach the FA Cup semi-final. I think we've got a very good chance of doing that with the squad we have. But lads, I don't actually know much about this new tactical vision feature they've implemented into EAFC. So for this rebuild, we're not going to take it into consideration too much. We have selected Gengen Press. I'm just going to see how it works. And if we're not winning many games, I'll change it to like Tiki Taka or something. So it's match day one, boys, away at the Vitality Stadium against Bournemouth. Let's simulate and see if we get the win. Can we get a win in our first game of the season? No, we can only manage a draw away to Bournemouth. We absolutely battered them though and James ward pros rescued us a point. So in all honesty boys, what I think we should probably do is just simulate 4 to January the first note and see where we're at in the Premier League as we cannot sign any players. Hopefully we are pushing for European football. But before we do that lads, I will just show you our Europa League group. We've got Freiburg, Excelsior and Aruko. We should be getting through that group easily. So another feature that is new in this year's FIFA is the new training plan system. Now you can either focus your players on getting more energy or improving match sharpness. I have just had it on at the minute, improving all the players' match sharpness and the starting 11. So we've arrived at January the first, lads, and we are 11th in the Premier League. We've not really had the best start to the season. 20 played, 6 wins, 9 draws, 5 losses, but we have got positive goal difference. Hopefully, now that we can bring some new signings in, we can push ourselves up that league table. And we have got £74 million pounds to bring some new players in. So we've identified a goalkeeper who we want to sign, boys, and trust me, this is one of the best goalkeepers in career mode. So Giorgio Mamadishvili is the first player we have set our eyes on in this West Ham career mode. We have brought in Giorgio Mamadishvili for £35 million. Pounds. So our second signing of EAFC 24 is a striker from the Serie A. He is joining us from AC Milan. We have signed Noah Okafor for £16 million pounds from AC Milan. After signing both these players, we've only got £20 million pounds remaining of our transfer budget, so we might have to see some players go the opposite way if we can bring some more players in. But this is the starting 11 is looking, boys, after bringing in Okafor and Marmadish Villa. And you know what, lads? I might just leave it as it is and simulate forward to the end of the season because I'm quite confident that team should get us into at least a Europa League spot in the Premier League. We breezed our Europa League group, lads, winning five of our six games and we are through to the round of 16. And, lads, the transfer offers are flooding in for our players. So we've made one final signing of the January transfer window and it has absolutely depleted all of our budget, boys. We have brought in Destiny Udoge from arch-rival Spurs for 25.5 million pounds and that deal has absolutely bankrupted West Ham United we have got nothing left in our budget but you doggy slots in nicely at that left hand side and he will grow to near 90 potential now I do just want to give you the rundown on some players who left us in this January transfer window Connor Coventry joined Luton Town for 2 million pounds Oliver Scales joined Rotherham United for 510 grand Angelo Ogbonna has joined Norwich on a free transfer Luzio has joined Stad René on a season long loan Maxwell Corner has joined Aston Villa for 13.2 million and Mikel Antonio has joined AFC Bournemouth on a free contract. So that's a chance to win though, done boys. Let's simulate Ford to end of the season and hopefully we have at least finished in a Europa League spot. So we've reached the end of season one, lads, and we have finished ninth in the Premier League on 57 points. To be honest with you, but we finished three points off a Europa League spot, but in all honesty, lads, that is a bit of a disappointment for West Ham United. Look at the squad, lads. Massive development for Lucas Paqueta. He's grown to 84 rated. Eggard and Zuma, 80 and 81. Solid growth overall though, boys, from the actual players. Look at the stats, lads. Lucas Paqueta, no wonder he grew 24 rated. 26 goals in 52 games for a centre midfielder. That is incredible. Arsenal won the Premier League. No way. Finally, a league title for Arsenal. Burnley, Sheffield United and Luton. All three new promoted sides were relegated. The FA Cup was won by Chelsea. We were knocked out on penalties in the semi-finals. Absolutely heartbreaking. Carabao Cup was won by Manchester City. They beat Forest 3-1 in the final. And Paris Saint-Germain won the Champions League, beating Bayern 1-0 
in the final. The Europa League was won by Mercer, which means we must have got knocked out. And we were knocked out in the round of 16 by FC Porto. Free to aggregate that end, so the best lad is it. Conference League was won by Ayers and Alkmaar. They won it on penalties. So all in all, lads, probably pretty underwhelming season, should I say? Season one, hopefully, though, we get a big budget next season and we can push on and actually qualify for the Europa League next year. Just to let you know, boys, all the players you can see, though, will be leaving the club. We have not renewed any of their contracts. So just to let you know, boys, Vladimir Kufa will be joining Tottenham Hotspur on a free contract to close off season one. So we're into season two, lads, and this is how the starting 11 is looking on paper. We definitely need a new right back as Vladimir Kufa has left the club. I wouldn't mind also a centre midfielder to replace James Ward prizes this 29 year old and only 78 rated, so we could probably do a better player in that position. Transfer budget, 71 million, same as last season. We only need to bring in a set midfielder and right back though, so we could make that money work. Lads, we have made our first signing of the new season and it is our most expensive signing to date. We have brought in Tian Coop Miners for 36 million pounds from Atalanta. So we have made our second signing of season two and this time it is a free agent striker who massively flopped at Manchester United and I think you know who this is. We have signed Anthony Martial on a free contract. Martial will take a place on the bench to start the season is an improvement on Danny Ings and he replaces Mikel Antonio who left the club on a free. We have just made an absolute steal of a sign in here boys. We have brought in a right back from Barcelona for just £14 million. We have brought in Sergio Dentz from Barcelona. Literally look how cheap that deal is. Best is 78 rated and 23 year old and he is going to be our first choice right back hopefully for the remainder of the rebuild. Lads if you have made it this far into the video please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's push for 1,000 subscribers before the end of EAFC. Now after the signings of Coop Miners and Dest we are left with £21 million so we might have to let some players go before we can bring another player in. And as you can see lads our club captain and best defender Kurt Zuma has handed in a transfer request. I've had a bit of an idea though. I'm going to offer Kurt Zuma to another club, plus the £20 million that we have now, and I might even be able to bring in an actual better centre back who's younger and can grow to a high rate. And lads, Lazio come in with an £18.5 million bid for Kurt Zuma. We had to accept it, lads, but we've got a lot more money now to spend on a replacement. Lads, we have just brought in Kurt Zuma's replacement, and lads, he is swapping North London for East London, and trust me, this is a fantastic signing. We have brought in Yuri and Timber from Arsenal for £38.5 million, becoming our most expensive signing today. Timber is six years younger than Zuma, the same overall, and he just slots in perfectly next to a guard at the back. And that team now is complete, ready to take on season two. And I think that looks much, much stronger on paper, boys. So before we simulate forward to January the 1st, I just want to give you a rundown on who actually left the club this summer. Luzio joined Girona on a season-long loan. Alfonso Eliola joined Hoffenheim for 10.2 million. Nathan Trott joined Stork for 970k. Keelan Casey joined FC Puterol, I think that's how you say it, 310k. And Kamarai Sawyer joined Al Fire for 780k. So let's simulate 4 to January the 1st, lads, and hope we've got a bit of an improvement on last season. So, boys, we have arrived at January the 1st, and just look at that. We are third in the Premier League. 18 played, 11 wins, 3 draws, 4 losses. We are flying this season, boys. The squad looks absolutely gorgeous, lads. Everyone other than Dest is now 80 red, and look at Lucas Paqueta, lads. 85 rated Lucas Paqueta. He is the star, man of West Ham United. Now, we only have £9 million available, so I don't think we're going to be bringing anyone in in January, but if we can keep this trajectory on course, we could be playing Champions League football next season. Lads, I'm bringing you back a bit early because look at the results at the side of your screen. We are literally just winning every single game. Oh, we lost our last game of the season, lads. Lads, I'm not lying. We have just won. As I was simulating through, we were just winning game after game after game there. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking we could have actually won the Premier League here. Like, I don't want to look. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, let's have a look. Standings. We come third, lads. We're playing Champions League football next season. No way. We finished third in the Premier League. Oh, and we've... What? We were 10 points clear of fifth. Lads, West Ham are playing Champions League football. As you can see, I can just see, look, we're winning a lot of games. I'm thinking, wow, we're just winning game after game after game here. And we're in the Champions League next season. I'm... I'm blown away, boys. Wow, I am blown away. Just to let you know, boys, Danny Ings, Andy Irving, Christian Hedger, and Gideon Kouda, if that's how you pronounce his name, will all be leaving West Ham this summer. This is how the teams look at the end of the season, lads. Look at Lucas Paqueta. 86 rated. Every single player in the starting 11, boys, is now over 80 rated, and the squad just looks incredible. That is such a good side, boys. Manchester United won the Premier League, lads, and Arsenal had an absolutely terrible title defence. They come fourth. Brighton, Southampton, and Brentford relegated from the Premier League, and Brentford got 17 points. That is shocking. FA Cup was won by Liverpool. They beat Fulham 2-0 in the final. The Carabao Cup was won by Arsenal, who beat Luton Town in the final 3-1. Real Madrid beat Bayern Munich 1-0 to win the Champions League. Juventus beat Villarreal 2-1 to win the 
in the Europa League and Feyenoord beat Wolfsburg on penalties to win a very entertaining Conference League final. Now, I'm very intrigued to see who our standout performers were this season. And looking at it, Noah Akafor, do you know what? He really come through this season. 25 goals in 45 games. That's a great return. Jared Bowen got 23 and 9. Mohamedou Kudos got 12 and 1. Then after that, lads, it really falls off. But without further ado, boys, let's simulate fall to season 3 and let's attack the Champions League. Come on, West Ham. So, lads, welcome to season 3. And look at the starting 11 for West Ham United. It is absolutely incredible. In terms of identifying some new targets, I'm thinking I would like to improve that centre-back position so Nerf Aguard's position could be in jeopardy. Okafor is 25-year-old and 81 rated. I know we got 25 goals last season, but I'd love to bring in like an 86, 87 rated striker to push us on in the Champions League. Looking at our fantasy, we've got 149 million. Oh my God, we are going to have some fun in this transfer window. Lads, the signing we have just made just shows that West Ham United are on the massive upward trajectory. We have just spent 57 million pounds and signed one of the best young centre-backs in the world. We have brought in Josco Guardiol from Manchester City and he is incredible. Aguard's been an amazing captain for West Ham United but Guardiola takes his place 84 rated 23 year old what a baller he is lads we have made our second signing of the summer and it is a massive massive deal for West Ham United it's a striker former City player partnered Erlen Haaland in the Champions League winning season lads you are going to like this one. We have signed Julian Alvarez, not from City, from Real Sociedad, for 56.5 million. And Okafor drops to the bench, and Alvarez, oh my god, just look at our front three. Bowen, Alvarez, and Kudos. That is incredible, lads. That signing leaves us with 20 million pounds remaining, so I don't actually think we could bring anyone in with 20 million pounds to improve the team. There could be some outgoings, though. Anthony Martial is now available for transfer as well. So let's just see where it takes us. And we have also got some contracts we need to renew, so we might not actually have much of that budget left to spend anyway. And boys, we have some Youth Academy graduates ready to promote it to the first team. The first one being Samuel Baker, 62 rated, 81 to 91 potential. He'll be going out on loan this season. And we also have Mason King, 81 to 87 potential, 62 rated. Another one will be going out on loan as well this season. Now lads, two great servants to West Ham United have just left the club. Pablo Fornals has joined West Ham for £9 million and Emerson has joined Strasbourg for £10.5 million. Now that's pretty significant lads because it's left us with £39 million in our transfer budget so we could actually, we could bring a player in though make the first team better. Looking at the squad, I'm thinking maybe a left winger. So, lads, selling Emerson, we only had one left back at the club, so we had to bring another left back. It's off the free agents. Bit of an old head, bit of experience. We have signed Cristiano Baraghi on a free contract, and he's an 80 rated 32 year old centre midfielder. Left back. Centre midfielder is a left back. And now our bench is just stacked with quality, lads. And I'm really confident going into the season. I think we can have a really, really good season this time round. Lads, we are so ready for the Champions League, lads. Like, the business we have done this summer is just unthinkable. We have signed Ansu Fati from Barcelona for £56.5 million. I am absolutely buzzing with the business we have done this season and I cannot wait to attack the Champions League and the Premier League this year. And that leaves us with just £3 million, lads. So our window is absolutely, definitely done. Well, that's a chance the window done, lads, and we had three more outgoings I'm just going to catch you up on. Young Academy player Samuel Biker joined Andorra on a season-long loan. Anthony Martial joined Chelsea for £18 million. And Flynn Downs joined Osasuna on a season-long loan. And before we simulate to January, lads, let's have a look at West Ham United's first ever Champions League group. We have got Real Madrid, PSV and Shakhtar Donetsk. Do you know what, lads? I actually fancy our chances here. I think we could get through that group. So, lads, we've arrived at January the 1st and we are third oh. in the Premier League again. We are doing so well in the Premier League, boys, but it's a lot, lot tighter at the top. Three points separating third to fifth. We've got to keep on our air game if we want to get in the Champions League places again next season. I know the moment of truth did we get through our Champions League group half. Really hope we did. We come top of it, lads. What? Three wins, two draws, one loss. We absolutely smashed it. We even beat Real Madrid and we have got Borussia Dortmund in the round of 16. That is an incredible tie for West Ham United. Now, we only have three million pounds, lads, so there'll be no incomings and I'm not going to be letting anyone leave in this window because we're doing so well in the league. So let's press on now to the end of the season and hopefully... We've got something to shout about. Ooh. Lads, I'm going to bring it back again. You know, if you've watched my FIFA 23 rebuilds, you know, I never bring it back, but I need to show you something. Lads, we are 2-1 up in the Champions League semi-final at the London Stadium against Manchester City. We could be going to a Champions League final in our first season. Oh my God. Quick sim, quick sim. <gasps> what? Nah, 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 nah. What? This career mode has gone so fucking well. We beat Man City over two legs. We draw 2-2, two -two, but over two legs we beat City and we're in the Champions League final. And it's against Barcelona, the first rebuild of 
EA Sports FC is going to be against Barcelona in the Champions League final. Oh my god. And I'm not even going to lie, lads. I've not even played the game yet. I've not actually played a game against like AI yet. So it could go. I could end up getting beat yet. This is the squad that has got us to a Champions League final. And do you know what, lads? There's no 90 rated players. We got very lucky in the UCL quarterfinals because we actually won the first leg 3 0, then lost 3 1 in the second leg. So we got very, very lucky there. We've actually not been doing too well. We ended up losing the first leg to Borussia Dortmund and then beating them 5 1. At the London Stadium. Now we've arrived at the Champions League final, lads, but I am just going to run you through the Premier League table to finish the season. We ended up finishing third again uh, in the Premier League on 77 points. We finished, it was very tight between fifth and third, though. Again, lads, anyone could have got in Champions League, really. We ended up having a really good season, to be fair. Relegated sides, Luton, Bournemouth, West Brom, they were all. And to be honest with you, lads, look how close we were between 15th and 20th. Anyone could have stayed up. The FA Cup, what? The FA Cup was won by Port Vale. Fair play to Port Vale. And the Carabao Cup was won by West Ham United. Like, you beat Man City 2-1 in the final. Get in there. Liverpool won the Europa League. They beat Roma 2-0. And Sociedad won the Conference League. Now, lads, let's waste no more time. Let's get into that Champions League final. Here we go, lads. We're in the Champions League final against Barcelona. But, like I've been saying, I've said it like six times. It's my first actual game of EAFC. And it's a Champions League final, so please bear with me if I do end up getting beat. And no, oh my god, they can break. Ah, oh, it's brilliant defending by Serginio Dest. What a ball. Udogi. Shoot. What a save. What a save. Big moment in this game to Stegen comes to Barca's rescue. Batty to whip the corner in. Oh, Alvarez has scored. He scored. Oh, that's a good save by Stegen. Ends up taking deflection. Alvarez. Lucas Paqueta, the main man. Shoot. He's gone wide. He's gone wide. Lucas Paqueta, no. Oh, my God. Romeo Lavia starting for uh, Barcelona. He must have grown a lot over three seasons. Out with Ferran Torres. That's a lovely back heel to Cancelo. Could be 1-0. Oh, big save. Big, big, big save by Mermadish Villa. It should be 1-0 to Barcelona. Oh, shit. Rafinha's absolutely left me. Oh, that's brilliant defending, though. That is brilliant defending. Whips in. Fat it. Oh, Shoot! Whoa! Fatty against his former club. To Stegen with another amazing save. It's going to be 0-0 at half-time, lads. Barcelona have had one big chance. We've had about four massive chances. I really like in those smooth the game players on the AFC. I thought like the passing's a lot more fluid and it actually goes where you want it to go, which I don't think it did a lot on FIFA 23. 0-0 at half-time, boys. Come on, let's get the win in the second half. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at the football. Udogi, come on. Across for Bowen. No! <laughs> He's missed! What? He's got to score! It's an open net! Come on, lads, we're getting so close to getting this. What a tackle! There we go. Alvarez through the middle. Oh, he's got the pace. He's got the pace. Come on, Alvarez. Finally! We've finally scored! It's 1 0 to West Ham. Julian Alvarez with the goal. Thank God for that. To Stegen has been a brick wall in this game. And we're 1 0 up with 20 to go in the Champions League final. And Alvarez goes in one on one, 15 metres out, and he plants it past to Stegen. This game has been close, lads. And oh, skip past me there, Fratezzi. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Lukaku. Oh, he's giving it away. No, he's not. Shit. Shit. Oh, he's ballooned it. He's ballooned it. That was a big chance. We're going to bring Kudos on. What am I doing? Oh, what a tackle again. Oh, my God. Bowen, Alvarez. Paqueta. Oh, Kudos. Let's get the second. Come on, this is the second. This is going to be the second. Game over, boys. Kudos. This is literally it's his first involvement. It's 2-0 to West Ham. The unlikeliest of stories. We're going to win the Champions League. Just look at this for a finish from Kudos. In on the wing. Oh, my God. He's levered that into the top corner. What a finish. And that is surely us winning the Champions League. Oh, shit. Get foot in. What a save. What a save by Mermadish Villa. And get it away. Shit. No, oh, that's another big chance missed for Barcelona. Christ. Smash it long, lads. We've done it, boys. We have won the Champions League with West Ham United. Get in there. Get in there. I am absolutely made up with this, boys, honestly. I can't believe we even got to the final. I think on all the rebuilds I've done, I don't think I've ever got to a final without at least two 90-rated players. I think this is the first time I've ever got to a final where I've had no 90-rated players. I'm just amazed. I'm genuinely amazed we've done it. We have taken West Ham United from Conference League winners all the way to Champions League winners. Oh, I am so buzzing. I am so buzzing with this. Remember, boys, keep your eyes on the channel for more EAFC content. The next rebuild is going to be with my club, 
Bolton Wonders. We are taking Bolton Wonders from League One to Champions League goal. Let's watch West Ham with this trophy. Get in there, West Ham. West Ham are massive. Champions League glory is coming back to the Olympic Stadium. What a journey that was with West Ham United. Thank you so much for watching this video, boys. Really, really appreciate it. Let's smash that subscribe button and get this channel to 1,000 subscribers by the time EAFC reaches the end of its life cycle. Again, thanks for watching the video, guys. Keep your eyes on the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.